sell or that hopefully you heard that Zeb cut out there for a second. <laughs> um, we tried a home decor that we sell uh, in our shop here in Lehigh or at jamierayvintage.com. We like to do this on Wednesdays to show you guys what you can do with nothing or next to nothing to turn it into something that maybe makes a profit or decorates your home. So super excited to be here. All the products you're gonna see us using here today, you can buy at jamierayvintage.com. And if we like the way these turn out, oh. the projects themselves might actually be on jamierayvintage.com. I had a pre-made pumpkin I forgot outside. I oh, gotta grab okay. It. So we found, while he's grabbing that, I'm gonna give you the 411. Uh, let's see if I can grab the picture. We have a cabinet shop. This is a really great pro mm. tip. Um, if you have a cabinet shop, can you guys see that there? The giant pile of wood. Um, and well, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I can bring it closer. Anyways, giant pile of wood at the cabinet shop here in Lehigh, right on State Street. And we've spent many hours digging through that pile over the last, I don't know how many of your years we've been upcycling stuff. And it's a great way to find free wood. If you guys know wood's super expensive right now. So we decided that we were gonna take it and stack it and turn it into pumpkins and maybe Christmas trees. Dun, 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 dun. We have one pre-made for you so you can see what it would look like um, made out of this wood. So I think, um, are you gonna be doing Christmas trees and then this is just um, the so one I'm pumpkin? I'm gonna make one more pumpkin so they can see how that goes together. Okay. You can start painting that or stenciling it or I, I just wanted to have one ready. So the rest of these, I'm using my nail gun to do this like I like to do, right? Um, and then I also, to cut the wood out, I used jigsaw and when I was cutting it real fast, I mean, you can do this with pretty much any saw. It just needs to be about an eight to 12 inch cut max. Um, and I've just been using my circular saw as well. You could do all of it with this saw. You could even do it all with a handheld saw really easily. So you I, know, I, I have the tools, so I use them, but if you don't, the handheld saw would get it done. I thought I grabbed everything, but is the dark and decrepit in the garage? Uh, no, it's not. Hmm. Okay. I can go look for you. Well, that's all right. You know what? I'll just paint it black. I just want okay. a base coat. It's fine. There you go. It's fine. I just want it dark underneath. Yeah, you're going to need these though, because I'm going to be stapling in a minute. All right. Let me get my kitchen if you don't screwdriver here. staple, I use Type Bond 2 wood glue in here. Um, scroll saw, would that work? Candace wants to know. Scroll saw wood? Yeah. Pretty much anything that cuts. I mean, hand, like I said, handheld saw would get it done. I'm just cutting them into length. Uh, Cause these are scraps from a cabinet shop down the road from us. They're all over the place. Um, pretty much every town that uh, I would say is probably bigger than like 10,000 probably has a cabinet shop somewhere or somewhere you can find scrap wood, Google cool. it and then contact them and be like, Hey, what are you doing with your scraps? Yeah, they usually are happy to not have to throw them away or burn them. <laughs> and it's good for the environment. Plus wood is so expensive right now. So I've got my handy dandy safety glasses on. I really need to get, we have these glasses called safety sasses yeah. and they're super cute safety glasses and we sell them and I totally forget to grab them from the shop all the time. Oh, all if right. you want to sand the edges cause the jigsaw kind of, um, I have a real aggressive blade on there. Let me see if there's any questions. Or okay. So these are my pumpkin blanks and I'll probably go outside to cut them cause it's going to be loud. But I just trim, they start out square, and then I use this saw right here to just, and a coping saw, handheld coping saw would work as well. But I just use this saw here to right over the edge and round that. And then this piece here was this right here that I cut off. So I just flipped it, and now we have our stem. Yeah, I was picking this, I was like, I kind of, so is this oak you could or see, pine? This is this is actually maple maple <laughs> this is maple cabinet scraps these are going to be some high-end pumpkins <laughs> i was actually thinking we should go and get a bunch and plane it and glue together like uh, like a limited edition cutting board or something it would be fun yeah they had a bunch your your staple went through my it's all right it's It'll a rustic okay. pumpkin it, they are rustic pumpkins you know i'm not gonna well i guess i'll probably want to paint the back so. so i have inch and a half nails in here like i said if you don't want to nail them a little bit of glue, clamp them up together, or even just press them together if your ends meet up nice. And like, if you just press this together like that and let that sit for 24 hours, it's gonna be plenty strong for this craft. So I'm just painting it black for a base coat. I'm not really worried about full coverage. I just like to have dark when I distress. And because this is maple, I'm running this on the highest setting. Yeah, because it's hard. Maple is a harder wood than pine. 
inch and a half, like I said, that's longer than inch and a half, so I knew it wasn't going to go into the table. Cabinet chops are also really great resources for wood for framing out signs and whatnot. When we used to do markets, we were always broke. We had to come up with a ton of products. So we had something to sell. And so the cabinet shop really was a great place for me to stop by. And a lot, it's not a secret here in Lehigh. Lots of people, yeah. lots of people go by there. You just leave them They're a very busy it. cabinet shop. They pretty much always got straps out there. Yeah. And it's not too far from our house, so it's convenient. Also, you guys, if you are a junker, make sure you're carrying a blanket in your car, or unless you drive a truck and you can just throw it on the back, because I'm always uh, using this. Zeb's truck is full of garbage from cleaning out the garage. And so I had to take my car, and I have an SUV, and I didn't want to scratch my leather, so I used a blanket to protect it. Getting our base coat on there. Oh, it, you know what, Ty, there, seriously, did you guys see my Instagram stories? There was so much wood. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. We took three pieces of wood, and we're going to get a couple Christmas trees, a couple pumpkins. I still have about half of the board left outside that we're not even using. So That'd be good. So this does stand up pretty good, too, because yeah. it's nice and thick. You could also get the thinner wood that looks more like lath. And then you could put this on a sign, so like a three-dimensional sign. That would be super cute to do a similar situation. And that, you could just glue it on your base if you were making a sign. Oh, Mom's got her beauty mask Come on and show them, Mom. You, you should come say hi right now. She's got her mask on. <laughs> hey, it's September, which means it's always it's almost uh, time for Halloween. So we're getting ready over here. Pumpkin mask. This is what she does in the mornings after the kids go to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she usually puts in a load of laundry and then she like pampers herself <laughs> or feeds my dad one or the other. I think dad definitely fed himself because I could smell the garlic, uh, olive oil this morning. Let's see this one. That's about, that's a little wider. Okay. So what I, I'm going to go outside to do this, but I'm just going to take this jigsaw, cut these tops even. Cause I wasn't measuring. I was just zipping them down this morning to get about this length of wood. So it's a little uneven. I made sure that the bottom, was even and I'm going to trim off these sides just like a little half circle on the edges and then we're going to use the half circle cutouts and I'll just I just glued that other one on and we'll probably do the same here and this is my pumpkin top oops trying so to I'm going to go outside because it's going to be loud I'll uh turn the mic off for a sec and then I'll be right back I'm just going to be over here painting this pumpkin black Did I, get muted? No. I don't know but when you're since you've left the premises would you grab me the heat gun I don't really have anywhere I to set this now. It. Yes, I'll grab it. Sheila says, love your content. Love most of the banter between Zeb and I. <laughs> Let's see if there's any other questions. I think everybody's just saying hi. Your mom's getting braver. She, she wouldn't have done that a year ago. I know. She's realized it's she kind of fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got a new heat gun. It works better than the old heat gun. And it's not quite as loud, I don't think. You don't have to heat gun your paint for this project. This is just a, I need to get this dry so I can lay this flat kind of a situation. Jamie, any flip houses? No. Right now we're really just focusing on getting the financing finished for the church. We've got all of our information into our accountant. He's actually Ivy's husband, he's awesome. Um, and then we're working on our profit and loss statement for the financing. So getting all that done here and getting ready to buy the church is pretty much all I think we can handle. I'd love to do a flip house, but I feel like we probably won't flip a house Maybe next year, maybe 2022, let's see. All right, if you guys are watching on Facebook, if you would share this out, that would be fabulous. And if you're watching on YouTube, if you're when you're done, you can copy it and share it in community or on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. So now I've got my base coat done. I like to do this because I'm gonna distress back and I don't necessarily want to see the light colored wood. So I think I'm gonna go with a, I know you're gonna be shocked, a French theme on my pumpkin. So I can't decide what 
I want. So we've got these great French grain sacks. And then we've got our new crockery ones. I could go Americana with it if I wanted to. Maybe I'll do that. So this is from our new croc stencil ones. I'm going to do this. So I probably got black all over my face. So this is DIY paint, but we needed the, the container for a project in Cinco de Mayo. And so our, what color is this? Orange. Uh, it's orange, yes. No, uh, first crush. First crush. Or crush. That's pink that's from Sweet Pickens. It's called. I don't use it that often. Summer crush. Summer something. Summer crush. Is that right? Yes, that's right. I don't know. Anyways, it's a DIY orange. <laughs> Ivy, do you know what color? I should. This is? I should be back on. All right, no more muting. All right, so the paint's a little bit thick, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here. Maybe I should have left it. It is my Summer Crush. Off. Thanks, Ives. <laughs> Ivy is our shipping manager. And you so know what? Knows. I feel like we need to just paint some stuff orange. It's the fall and holiday season. Where's anyway. Lolly Lolly? We'll paint some things orange, right? That way we can learn the orange colors. Our color wheel's missing some stuff. Well, people say we always paint stuff. And you could totally, like, you don't have to go orange. You could totally paint this to match the color scheme of your house. So yeah, I, you, you know what? For and fall pumpkin. and holidays, I see like white pumpkins, blue pumpkins, other, people go all kinds of stuff. I see them, yeah, and I also see people painting, like in real life, there's green pumpkins. So if you want a light green pumpkin, that's fine. So I'm what this is, this like is like it. the end of the board. When when the cabinet shop gets it, they they get like, they get raw lumber. And so they plane it down, mill it, and size it because a lot of times the edges from the sawmill they're not going to be straight so you know you got little chips and cracks and stuff that's what this is they're just cutting that off see how this was the end of the board they just cut an inch off the edge and then this is waste to them they're not going to use it and so they just a lot of people i know just grab all the scraps and use them for firewood and things so they're just out there in our case on the side of the road for people to come grab Mom says, I just joined and see safety glasses. Zeb's using the nail gun, so I'm just going to keep them on. Yumiko, super chat, says, hello, everyone. Hi, Jamie and Zeb. Hey, Yumiko. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Where did, okay, so I've got right here, right? This, this came from here on the other board. Anyway, now that's going to be our stem. And for this, I'm not going to nail it. Just a liberal amount of glue. And then get both sides. Maybe a little more glue. And this sets in about 10 to 15 minutes and cures strong and structural in about 24 hours. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute before I let Jamie touch it. And if you wanted to, you could nail in there if you had a nail gun, but it's a decor, right? I was just show them how we can strong. assemble some trees. I'm going to put some trees together while we let that sit. Oh, that looks good with the black underneath, though. Yeah, because, I mean, pumpkins always have weird spots on them. I was actually going to add in some queen bee. So these ones, I just cut varying sizes. We're going to stack them like a Christmas tree and see what we get. I'm going to take my safety glasses off for a sec. I'm getting sweaty. Now, if you wanted your pumpkin to get warts on it. Here's a little pro tip. Put your paint on kind of thick. And then hold your gun there for a long time until you make your paint bubble. And it'll crack a little and it'll bubble. The clay paint is really good about that. I'll show it to you guys up close. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it adds some fun texture to your pumpkin. Makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. I was going to add cream bee, but I think we're just going to go black and summer crush. You could also use a blow dryer. Heat gun is faster. I, I feel like you get better bubbling, but it depends on how hot your blow dryer is. But you always want a little texture on your pumpkin. I'm trying to say pumpkin. Because in Utah, we like to say pumpkin. Everyone in Utah says pumpkin. I'm like, is that how it's spelled, folks? Hey, you don't need to be the grammar police, all right? I have a hard time with it. I try not to be. But, you know, I drop a lot of my N's and things, my I-N-G's. I just, you know, mountain. 
So man, I can't I can't say anything. All right. I am gonna paint the back of this just because I don't know what people are gonna see. To show you my my textured warty pumpkin. Can they see that Zeb there? Can you look on the um, computer? Um here I'll hide and maybe it'll get you. Looks good. All right, hopefully you guys can see that there's there's some texture and that's just from the heat gun. You could use salt wash too. Oh, Mariah says that people always ask where she's from because she doesn't talk like that. I don't know. The longer I stay somewhere, however people talk, that's how I talk. Oh, it doesn't even take long. We go I somewhere. We go somewhere it. like uh, in the south, and man, she picks that accent up really quick. If we go real south, like Mexico type south, it's going to come right back because I had a Hispanic accent because I lived next to the border for eight years when I was a little girl. I cannot help it. Okay. All right, so how's your tree coming out? It's coming good. I'm going to... All right, I think I've got the pieces together that I want to use. Yeah, that'll work. All right, safety glasses back on. That's not the. Mine are I want still on. Use. I have not removed them. I'm going to put them. They're over here. They're usually on my hat. <laughs> I did put them on my hat. I need them on my eyes. Come on. Yeah, your hat's protected, but not your eyeballs. Mom says people say water instead of water. Where are you from? If you don't mind sharing. Yes, Liz Marie, you could take sticks and just to glue them together. Or like I said, put them on like a backer board. I've seen that done. If you go on Pinterest and you type uh, stick pumpkins, you'll see some ideas on there. I saw those, Jay. I saw some similar to this, but nothing exactly quite like this. Washing instead of washing. My dad's from Michigan, West Virginia originally. And he washes he says every washing. Day. Washing. Redrick had a speech impediment, and I was like, he doesn't have a speech impediment. He's just from Boston. Talk the car in the yard. <laughs> it's just, I mean, really, that's all it is. Okay, I'm going to just paint the little stem on here where's the prairie gray i wanted layered chocolate but prairie gray is gonna have to do she's from philadelphia fun all right so my nail gun is not this maple's hard <laughs> it's not running these inch and a half nails all the way through you need a hammer i might have to go get one Okay, so I'm just I'm just using a little bit of prairie gray on my stem here. There we go. I feel like you could also use aviary on your stem because the stems are always like a brownish green. And it would also be cute if you wanted to cut out some thin little leaves or something and hang some leaves from your pumpkin. I think I'm just going to go one in the middle because that's why they're not going in because this is moving on the sides. Oh, yeah. Well, they're not exactly level. So some of these are not staggered as wide. I'm going to go with it. If I were to do this again, I'd probably leave at least an inch off of each one. I did a half an inch about, and it actually looks like it came out to be more like three-eighths of an inch. And my tree, I like the bigger, the bigger steps. But we're going to put this one together because it's what I got right now. All right. Do we have an orbital handy in the garage or should just hand sand this? Um, I would just, just hand sand it real quick. Hold the it. 60 grit. Yeah, right that'll be fine. I'm supposed to do that. Eliza. So our, our youngest daughter, our middle child, has decided that she wants to earn extra money. She's like, fine, you can clean the house because ain't nobody got time for that. And she can come home and be like, I just cleaned this kitchen. <laughs> it is. So I'm just distressing it a little bit. You don't have to do this, but because this wood had a lot of texture, we should get some fun age and everywhere that we have like our little warts. Well, you know, she got the kitchen checked off yesterday because I, I wrote her a list of like everything I want her to do. 
when she when she cleans. But she doesn't because it's not just like a regular chore. Like we're we're paying her like we would the uh, the housekeepers. Yeah, the housekeepers and. Uh, and there's eight people live here. It's quite the situation. And they all have like regular chores. It's just like above and beyond that. All right. We're getting a little front heavy here. And my now. older girls pay for like their clothes, extracurriculars, half of their cheer. So, all right. Careful running your hand across stuff. We've got a little bit of a distress texture thing going on there. I think it's pretty good. I'm not going to worry about painting the back perfectly. I'll probably run the orbital over that later, but I really like this. And this gives the wood some fun age here. Okay, next, stencil. Now, I need a paper towel. DIY paint, super pigmented. You get a lot of great highs and lows, which is awesome, but I also wanna pull off that extra dust before I start stenciling. Look at my paper towel. So what, what did I say I was gonna use on this? Oh, I'm gonna use, this is from our Croc stencil. So this actually is a mimic of one of the Crocs we have here at the house on the front porch. So it will stand, it's a little more wobbly than the pumpkins because you know, the wood isn't exactly as Oh, flat. you know what I would have done? I would have done two of these to give it a little bit more. No, I kind of like the stem thing. Oh, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just, like in my mind that you didn't read. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. So what color <laughs> should I do this? You think white on here or should I go black? I would do black. Okay. So we had black out. It's right here. Yep. Do you have a stencil brush? Yes. Which one do you want? Huh? What size are you after? Um, really any size would do for this particular right, one. There you go. Okay. So I've got my DIY paint here. I've got my JRV stencil. If you're just tuning in, you can pick up these products at jamierayvintage.com. Ivy can drop a link for you. Or you can find the stencils and the brushes. So it turned out, okay, I don't hate it. But like I said, I would have trimmed these either short all the way up or wider all the way up. I kind of like the wider uh, look on the bottom. But we're going to go with it because that's what I have cut out for this video. I don't have more cut out. I think this one. Salt wash would really add warts. Yep, that would be yeah. fun. You could you could get, go crazy with them like all kinds of texture. Maybe I'll do salt you could wash do, next. You could do IOD on these like with the molds um, or transfers even if you don't want to stencil. Could be a lot of fun. Oops, I shifted. Hold on. <gasps> shifty. I know. I'm shifty. Do you this have morning. all the brushes over there? No, I put them in a pile by you. Oh. I actually probably do need a little bit smaller stencil brush. Could you give me a smaller one? Yeah. I'm struggling this morning. There's the half inch. Thank you. The, the smaller the detail, the easier it is to do with a smaller brush. And I got tape so I could tape my stencils in place if I wanted to. It's really important to offload your brush. You see me offloading over here on my drop cloth. That way you get a nice crisp stencil. I'm never super worried about it because I'm always going to distress it. But Thanks, Veronica. She caught up my interview with Dion yesterday. Dion from the Turquoise Iris interviewed us because she fun. put us in her Turquoise Iris Journal magazine, and that was kind of fun. It's hard to talk about yourself, so when somebody else asks the questions, it kind of makes it a little bit easier, I feel like. So this is aviary and DIY paint. And same thing with the pumpkins. If you didn't have something like i would you could even hot glue these oh i if you didn't have a nail gun look how cute that is so i was thinking i'll let this dry and then i'll wax it but um i wanted to get some little strips of fabric to kind of tie around the top oh, i think too I, it would be cuter to have a little bit taller um what is this called stem oh you want a tall tall one I mean, not like super tall, but I'm going to tie some stuff on it. Hold on. We could do it on the other one. I'm looking through my drop cloth pile and realizing I have a lot of projects to sew. <laughs> so she has a basket, like a laundry basket over there that she keeps next to the couch. It's supposed to be for blankets, but it's got a bunch of scrap fabric from projects that we do. <laughs> hey, waste not, want not, right? Like, look, what are you going to do with this little tiny, janky little piece of fabric? I'm going to use it for this project. That's what I'm going to do. 
let the record show that we had scissors. Oh, super chat. Thanks, Mom Sanctuary. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Kathleen says, quilting is not quite as popular as it once was. I'm thinking of making hand quilted quilts for son's wedding gift. What do you think? Oh, my gosh. I would love a hand quilted quilt as a gift. My grandma gave us a hand quilt. Yeah, we have some. Quilt. She had already, uh, no, was grandma around? No, she passed. Grandma, grandma Mary? No, she was around. Harrington was a kid. I was like, Gra but grandma she wasn't Mary was quilting definitely anymore. alive when we got married because they wheeled her over my wedding dress. That was like 20 years ago, and I don't remember all the details. You clearly. weren't wearing the beautiful dress that was getting wheeled over by her wheelchair. <laughs> all right. So this so is she like was she was around there long enough for we've got pictures of her when Harrington was a real little guy. Yeah, well the them day taking naps your parents together. brought her over the day we got home from the hospital. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's people here, and I just had a kid. That goes right. with it, right? You have to you have to entertain and have a baby no. all in the same day or two. You don't. <laughs> I was younger then. Now I'd probably be like, bye. <laughs> and I think I'd just cry. I'm, I'm old for that situation. I, Caitlin and I share, so I'm just taking this and I'm tying it around the top. Caitlin and Zeb and I share a calendar because she needs to know our life because sometimes she can't find us or get a hold of us. See what I mean, Zeb? It needs a little bit taller. Oh, so you can tie on there? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can yeah, I don't think I'm going to tie on this one. It's cute the way that Let it is. Let me finish painting this one and I'll... Can you put a bigger one on that yeah, one? Yeah, I'll go cut you a bigger one real quick. I'll just put some ribbons. Or you could just thick. go square and do like this one. Oh, I love that. No, I'm, I'm down with square. All right. Let me heat gun this and I'll wax it. Mariah said that Aunt Grandma Mary died right before her and Ty got married. It's mostly dry because my brush is pretty dry when I get going. I'm going to distress it a little bit and then I'll wax this. So just so you know, when you distress it, you're going to get a little bit of smearing from the paint. If you don't want to do that, then you probably need to put sealer in your paint and you need to make sure your base coat is really well sealed. And really, what's the point if you have to do all that work? <laughs> but I'm just telling you because people are like, it made it look a little dark and I'm like, sweet, now I don't have to put dark wax on it. So instead of like smearing it, I like to blow it off and then I just kind of lightly get the dust. See how well there. this is already on here? This glue is holding the whole thing up. Oh, I might not I might have to cut it back off. <laughs> there we go. Got it. But how long was that? Five, ten minutes over there while I painted, put this together and painted it? And that glue was holding that stem on that good. Where is... So you really can just... Jamie, is that too tall? I need to not... No, that's perfect. I need to not talk to myself when I got my mic on. I'm like over there finding the wax. And you guys are hearing me yak. Sorry about that. They probably So do you want to do a queen bee on that one? So that way we have a orange and a yellow one. Sure. Yeah. So I'm just going to clear wax An this. eye itch. Wasn't even anything in there. There was nothing in your eye? <laughs> Oh, nope, but it had an itch. It felt, like, a, was it felt like an eyelash for a second. And you know how I am about having stuff in my eyes. So I, uh, had, to, I had to go in there. And... Hell hath no fear. He likes Zeb when he's got something in his eye. All Not right. So like I'm just, this will get a lot lighter when, once the um, wax dries. But this will seal it up. Let's see, you I'm can also use like a liquid top coat or nothing at all. Brush out real fast. It's not going to get wet. Watch out. We got dishes in the sink this morning. That has had multiple colors on it. All right, where's the... I keep thinking I'm going to remember to have rags here, but I forget. I need to just go through the sock box. I'm just going to wipe this off. There we go. Pumpkin is done. A pumpkin like this, I'd probably charge like, I don't know, $12 for $12.95. And you really could, like, this is taking us a while because... We're figuring out the process on live TV, but if you were doing a bunch of these, you could really knock them out quick. Make yourself a, a pattern, lay it down, draw it out, cut it out. I cut all this wood out about 15 minutes before we went live, so it wasn't That's that much. And really then I set the live video up. So. Cute, and I actually like how the black up of the powder of the stencil got down into the wart texture. Oh, debit. You wanted me to do black underneath this? Um, You don't have to. You know what you could do? You could do prairie gray as a base coat. 
I've got the brushwood prairie gray right here. Okay. I'll heat gun your Christmas tree. All right. Can you guys see this? Where should I put this? We'll put it right there. So if somebody tunes in and see what we've done, look what you've done. All right. I'm trying not to get paint Where on the, the MacBook. Oh, here it is. Yeah, you, you don't get paint on the I'm going to wipe off all this extra sanding dust that's in my wax here, my wax brush. So we're still getting in the 80s now, but you can feel it. I mean, September 1st around here, end of August, really, it starts getting in the 50s at night. And when it'll, it'll, it'll hit 80, like around one or two in the afternoon. Oops, I forgot how you just did it. Um, but like in the evening, it'll, oh, it'll drop down into the 60s pretty quick. You didn't do a base coat on this. No. I wasn't going to discuss it super hard. I thought you were going to decoupage Christmas paper on it. Uh, I might, or I might stencil it. I haven't decided. Should we do the Santa one all on the tree? Yeah, then I'll, I'm going to paint it white so you get a better decoupage. But it's good that the sides are green. I'll just paint the front white. Is that all right? Okay, okay. okay so we've got it's our new Santa. Right. Don't worry about these sorts of things. Hey, look, I'm just trying to be a good, obedient, polite wife. I don't have my messy bun on today. So the sass is completely that gone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're in the JB Ray Vintage group, I shared. I, I'm amused at most of the comments. We really, occasionally I get upset and annoyed, but most of the time I don't care. And so I've, I've recently been finding funny comments and trying to respond a little bit sarcastically to them. And I shared one today where somebody kind of got at me. Uh, being rude, which I don't oh, deny. Rich, I, I don't deny that. that there are times that I am not as good at containing my irritation. Like, you don't know what happened before the camera started. <laughs> I try to contain myself. And he said that when I had my messy bun on, I was sassier or something. I was just like, that's the truth, right? Um, <laughs> can you pass me whatever white Let's over there? Do we have all, a clean brush? We go. Or are, we, are they all dirty? Okay, I'm going to get another brush. Oh, look, there's one right here. Clean? Yeah. Okay, I missed it. I, I was gonna. Use Let me that. test it on my hand. Oh, I just watched. Check Zeb's so mic. They said. Oh, I muted it while I was doing something. Have you been muted this whole time? No, just while I was watching. Okay, can you guys hear Zeb now? They can probably hear me the whole time. It just got quiet because your mic was picking me up. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. I don't know. This is. It's not important what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just mostly banter. It was there were no great crafting tips <laughs> shared. Yeah, it back to quilting. If I was a seamstress and could quilt, I probably would. And maybe when I'm older and have more time, and do you do you get more patience when you're older? I don't know. But if that happens, I might start doing it. I don't know about hand quilting. I don't know if my arthritis would let me. But we'll see. Yeah. I buy, I like quilts. I buy like anytime I find a handmade quilt, I buy it. I'm gonna borrow that heat gun over here. But I gotta have it. I'll let Are you. Are you have ready? It. Yeah, but I'll let you have it first. Okay. okay. So I'm painting white on here because when you decoupage, white makes your image brighter, and we're using that Santa paper, so I want a nice, crisp, bright image. Linda says you get less patience. Less patience as you get older. I think as I've oh, gotten well, older, and I'm not, I'm not a, that old yet, right? Uh, I care about less. Yeah, I just, I just care about less things. So, <laughs> like I know, I've decided, I, have... I decided I'm not going to put my energy towards caring about that, and so it might come off as like brash or, or rushed or even rude sometimes. It's not that I'm trying to be rude. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? I find that. <laughs> The older I get, the more I'm okay in my skin. And while I try to be polite and kind, I'm ask, I'm actually okay with telling people what I think. Like I used to be more worried about being a people pleaser and not upsetting people. And now I'm kind of like, like that's great for you, but I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> I really can't wait. Like we're, I'm probably going to have to leave you in the car when we go to stores. Why? When you get your mom's age. What's going to happen to me? I don't know. Can you hand? Can you she that she doesn't hold anything back. She, she just tells you. You don't it even is. know what she thinks, and she doesn't say. She's holding <laughs> back. 
Don't you worry about it. <laughs> well, she's holding back less. I'll tell you that. Mostly she just flirts with guys. <laughs> we went to the dentist and they gave her laughing gas. I'm like, be prepared. She is going to flirt with you. Sorry about that. You get older, you get bolder. That's one of my mom's famous sayings right there. All right. Mariah now. says she has quilting stands. We could totally do that. In case you don't know, Mariah is the queen of all things crafty. She's a lot more patient than I am, and she will do things repetitively, whereas I usually am like a one and done. That's why I like to make these videos, because I'll show you guys how to do something. But realistically, I'm probably not going to make 400 of these. I mean, I might. You just never know, but probably not. I'm just drying this so that way I can decoupage it. When we're no longer live, I might go ahead and take some 220 and make sure there's no splinters on these and then touch it up with wax or whatever I gotta do. Because definitely you would wanna sand this a little bit to get off the splinters. All right. So I'm gonna need to, were you washing a brush? Yeah. So I washed, <laughs> I washed that brush for, uh, for my queen bee. Would you mind washing you this it. brush so I can put patina on it? Um, yeah, in a second. Or I'll wash it. <laughs> queen bee is probably my favorite yellow. It covers well, better than most. If you've ever painted with yellow, you know that sometimes yellows can have less coverage than whites like four coats later you're still painting queen bee is pretty good but queen bee covers real nice are you gonna you're painting the this orange too um yeah I'll, i might paint it black later okay i'm not, I'm not questioning your design choices maybe i am. yeah you are <laughs> all right i'm going to cut that decoupage paper down which part of the christmas tree should i use or christmas paper i'd, I'd say just throw it on. we'll go show them let them tell you well, what they want to see Here's the, I think I'm just going to start in one corner. That might be better. That way we can use the whole paper yeah. more. So, I'll, hold on. There you go. It's not, there's something underneath that, so it's not quite sitting flat. You know, this is, this is uh, stenciled on the front. I actually really like the way the back turned out, too. Just like that. But this is cool. Whoop. One of these days, I'm going to do the ironing method of decoupage paper. People keep telling me about it. I'm like, oh, we like, just, I know. It, I just, I don't can own do an it. iron. It's, it's at the shop because yeah, I don't iron. iron anything. And we talk about that every time. And I saw the iron last week and I meant to grab it. And, you know, when I'm at the shop, I'm not necessarily looking for the iron. I'll have to make a special trip just for the iron and then I might actually get it. Mariah says she loves my mom. I love her too. We love having my parents live with us. It's really fun. Sometimes they don't love it. Sometimes we don't love it. But overall, having a multi-generational family makes life interesting. Okay. Uh, Mariah said she was going to bring her heat press over and try that. We have some decoupage paper that got wrinkled that we need to use a heat press on. Mm -hmm. Fix that. Okay, so for decoupaging, really simple. You're going to want to use a decoupaging medium. I am using DIY's liquid patina. It is the Cadillac of decoupage mediums. It is not Mod Podge, not even close. Mod Podge is gunky and plasticky and stinks because it's not all natural. And patina is none of those things. So you wanna make sure you apply it nice and liberally, especially in this case where we've got lots and lots of texture here. It's not all flat. And I'm just going to maybe, I don't know which side I wanna do. I really want this this Santa to be on the majority of it. So I think. That's one of my favorite Santas we put on there. Yeah, I don't want to like cut his face in half. All right, and we're gonna decoupage it over the top. I've got glue all along this area of my uh, drop cloth and that won't stand up straight. Like big old beads of glue. Well, you know, that happens, all right. So now that I've got the decoupage medium on here, I'm just gonna come across the edge and use the edge, which is a little bit rough, to cut my paper. You could also use a brush with paint, like water on it to break, rip the paper, but 
this seems to be working pretty good. And I'm going to distress it, so it's okay. This, in case you guys are new here, Zeb and I designed this decoupage paper ourselves. We uh, licensed the images, and then Zeb actually went to school for graphic design. So he and I together do the layouts and design work. Usually it's me banging on the computer, and then he comes and gets it to do what I'm trying to get it to do. So what I do is I, a lot of times, I'll manipulate all the elements how we want, change the color, uh, cut them out nice and crisp and clean to where we've just got the image we want. And then Jamie comes and fixes my layout. I don't she's she's real it. good with the balancing and making things cohesive. I make it balanced, but not always exactly symmetrical. And Zeb's really good at Me, symmetry. I'm like, look, both sides are equally weighted. Oops, this paper really So it looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, one of the things that I like about our decoupage paper is you can use it little by little, or you can use the whole sheet. Are you I using a knife? Instead oh. of ripping that with the brush? Um, yeah. <laughs> I had to get real physical with it there. Okay. Show it who's boss. Like, listen, decoupage paper. I, do I have to get my messy bun on to show you who the boss is? <laughs> <laughs> my bossy bun. That's what we're going to call it, bossy bun. It's funny. I think this will look better, different color. Okay, so I'm going to put another coat of this on here. You want to let this air dry, but ain't nobody got time for that today, so I'm going to use a heat gun. And then I'll distress it. I'm going to show you what it looks like thus far. Look how cute that is. This is going to be a good one. We are going to have to make a few of these because I want a little collection. Okay. Well, I have more wood, so I can cut that out. Yeah. Or maybe we can dump the garbage out of your truck, and you can get me a pop at the dump. Well, not at the dump, but on the way to the dump, and we can, then we can go get more That's wood. the rules. If you go to the dump, you also have to get a soda. True that. Or some sort of treat. Yeah, you can get I usually water. let the kids pick when they if come If you drink coffee, get a coffee. Can you? Can you yeah, for me? just right there. You got like half speed going. The kids always want to go to the dump. And we're Odilia all less and less. She can go get this. her own treat these days, but all the other kids are like, yeah, let's go. She doesn't have a driver's license, but she has friends with you. She's working on that. She does have a car to drive, so she's a little bit motivated to get that license. We told her if she didn't get her license, we we're going to sell the car. So then she made the appointment to take the classes. She did some online. All right. If you are going to heat gun decoupage, just make sure you keep it moving. You don't want to make it bubble. And because this isn't level, I'm using my finger to really push it down on the creases. Do I want to so stencil it this where one? I, want it to stick. I got all these stencils over here. So thank you, Kathleen. She says the Christmas paper is gorgeous. We have this one and then we have a black and white that you can watercolor. We need to find some time and do some watercolor videos because you can use the DIY pigments to watercolor. Sure it's dry on the sides. Careful, you can catch wood on fire. Ask me how I know. Uh, <laughs> well, you well, can wood, see it wood's, sparking. Wood's a, usually a pretty good fuel source for fire. <laughs> right. So this is a much larger stencil than I'm using here. It says, hello, fall, but I'm just going to use half of the wreath on the side oh, and see cute. what it looks like. Okay, my hair, I should have gotten a ponytail. I didn't curl it yet because my hair was like not quite all the way dry. So I used a blow dryer for like two minutes. Okay, so that's where we're at now. I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit, dry completely, but I think that's good. Now the question is, should I leave the base green or should we paint it prairie gray to make it more brown? What do I you would, think? I would paint it like a red, just saying. A red. <laughs> I'd, I'm going to paint it prairie gray. I like it, actually, the green it is. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's right. It doesn't. It's probably going to look good prairie gray. Well, I'm going to distress it so some of that green comes through. If I had layered chocolate, I might do that.
Ooh, I like that. Ta-da. The heat gun dries it faster. It's way hotter. Like if you touch the end of your blow dryer, it's pretty hot. You don't you don't want to blow dry your hair with a heat gun. You fry your hair. But if you don't have a heat gun, I mean, you need to hurry up a project. A blow dryer will work. It's probably maybe even a little safer. So you want to wait till your decoupage paper is all the way dry to distress it. But I'm just going to lightly distress this here. Oh, nope. You want to wait till it's going to heavily distress? Not well, light. The paper's still a little dampish. Oh, and you've got that heavy, that's like a 60 grit paper. Well, that's what you brought me. It's okay. I'm going to make it do. <laughs> I'm just going to do the edges. I'll show it to you guys once you get them close. I thought. Really, I'm just trying to bring the green out from underneath and make it look aged. I promise when I'm done, it'll be good or goodish. All right, ta-da, here's my Christmas tree. I think it turned out good. I'll let it dry all the way, and then later I'll come back, hit this with 220, and then I might go over the whole thing with clear wax just to wax everything. And the 220 will also even out the back. So Jana Williams asked if we're going to be selling these. Yeah, we will. We'll get these up on JanuaryVintage.com here in the next day or so. i got to get them all the way finished. We're going to do a couple more. We'll do some more so you guys have a decent selection to pick from. This one, because I decoupaged it, probably going to be somewhere in the, like the $14.95 range. My dad's calling me. He must not be watching. He must be bored. <laughs> he calls me when he's driving. He's starting to do excavation where they're going to put uh, on my, my brother's land that he shares with him. They're going to start putting the, the home site on the land. So he's oh. got a big bulldozer. He's been calling me and telling me about it. I don't know how this got. How do you get it? Oh, shoot. Hey, what are you supposed to not do? Uh, touch right that. Can you get the exit full screen? Well, this comment from Leslie has been on the bottom of the screen. Oop. I don't know, but did you just kill the live off? I don't know what I did. No, we're still there. We're still I there. Don't, I don't know why it's there okay. or what it's doing. I, I can't get it off. It's because someone paid No. something. I don't know. It might not be there. If it's there, it's there. It's there. Leslie I mean Johnson's very popular today. <laughs> Ivy, do you think you could try to get that comment off? Oh, Ivy did it. Oh, I'm like, I think that's been there for like 45 minutes. Okay, you're the best. I've... Leslie's like, I liked my name down there, LOL. <laughs> um, love that stencil. What's the difference between, okay, just making sure I got all the questions. It is warm when you use that heat gun. Oh, I like that. So I think if you clear wax, you want me to clear wax out real quick? Sure. And I think then it's we're done. It's still a little damp. Yeah, oh. I think we're almost there. We made okay. a big mess, so that's an indication that we're getting close. Yeah, well, it's 1054, so I'm going to clear wax this and bring out the detail of the stencil. I'll try to get a picture of our holiday stuff all together so you guys can see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, ta-da! We've got, did I get this all waxed? I did. Let me look at the bottom. We've got two pumpkins and a Christmas tree from three sticks of wood left over at the cabinet shop. I think these turn out pretty good. If you want to do similar crafts, visit jamierayvintage.com for the paint, the paper, the stencils, and we will get some more of these finished up today and get them listed up on the website in case you don't want to craft and you just want to buy these. I think that's it. All right, guys. Love you. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, guys. Have a great Wednesday. It's going to be awesome.